Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel and you're watching Chips Challenge 2 Judgment Day and I am finding out as I play through this just how rough around the edges a game Chips Challenge 2 is and I'm finding out at the best possible time when I'm trying to record a playthrough of it. But here go the puzzles. This is Caitlin's Maze. I assume we've seen... Uh, oh, okay, so... Um, is there fire boots anywhere in here? That key seems surrounded by fire, so I'm going to try... Oh, there are teeth coming after me. There are blobs coming after me. The, everybody is on my case. Well, there... Okay, we've got that. And you may have heard some uh, Chips Challenge noises there uh, from the Windows version of the game because those are the sound effects we're using now. And uh, if those sound effects get a little loud, that's okay. Uh, okay, can't get in there yet. Uh, anything going on here? This looks a little suspect. You may have heard the oof. Oh, hey. Oh, wow. Just a whole field of chips lying over here. Yes, this looks very randomly designed, as if by a child. Long Lost Friend was designed by Richard Field, and this was designed by Caitlin Field, who I'm assuming uh, may in fact be the daughter of Richard Field. What's up here? Oh, hey, I can get in and get these. And I only need to get four more chips, and that requires finding those elusive boots. And I have 135 seconds to do so. Can I do it? Okay. I feel like they're under the one block I didn't push, which was down here somewhere. I think it was right here. Okay, yeah. Oh, ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, I've got to get onto the forest floors. Dog on it. Okay. Well, let's just go underneath. Can we... Oh, cool. We can guide the teeth into bombs. That's pretty neat. I don't see the blob. Maybe it went that way, too. Let's just avoid that random forest floor over there altogether and push things along the bottom of the bomb stack here. Yeah, this is a very haphazardly assembled level, but I'm kind of digging it in a weird way. It is actually very nicely done, and I'm having fun with it. It's not too hard, not too soft. Here we go. Let's see, and I can step freely onto the ice. There's one. I have three more chips to get. Where are they hiding out? Oh, the blob... Well, that might be a different blob. I was going to say, the blob found its way up here. Here we go. I got... <laughs> good thing I had flippers. I just stepped in the water and... Really? Come on. Aw, oh, man. A bummer indeed. That is... That is definitely the way I would characterize that turn of events. What? What a sorry state of affairs. Don't... Don't go down onto me. Okay, so the blob... There were a few blobs here, actually, and they went... They randomed themselves straight into, oh my gosh, this is uh, this is actually Scary Town USA right here. Okay, but it's only a few more. Okay, so he must have gone in over here. Okay, yeah. Oh, the fireballs get rid of the bombs too. That's an interesting development that I wouldn't have expected. Man, everybody is helping me clear out bombs today. I just need to get out of their way. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get those first. Now I know we got this over here. All right, yeah, get around them as quickly as possible. Dirt doesn't make sounds when we crunch it down under our feet anymore. Blocks don't make sounds when we push them. It's all very nice and wonderful. So over here is just a just an open mess of chips. There are a few... The enemies flying around are cause for concern, but it's not spammy. So, okay, I don't have the ice boots yet, so I need to, I need to, oh, they're right there next to the ice. Well, isn't that super convenient? Uh, and we have the green key. There we go. And now I just need to be careful in here. I need to watch out for errant gliders. So let's go ahead and take a swim in the water and let's, okay, okay, there we go. We've got it. Let's get out of here and make our way to the exit. Nice job, Caitlin. I applaud your level. Please don't come... Oh. Oh, God, I got scared by the glider. No! All right, here we go, and... There we go. Let him out and get in there. Oh, Caitlin, you gave me a run for my money with your maze. Not much of a maze, actually, now that I think about it, but a good level all the same, and I applaud it. Let's move on. In this next lesson, Chip, you will learn many strange things, including how this game is wired. Wired for sound. We're on lesson five now. We're going to learn some new things. 
Stand on the brown buttons to open the traps. Oh, there's a lot of sound there. Let me turn this down. Yeah, we're going to want to practically mute those for this, I can tell. So what now? Stand on the brown buttons to open the traps. Okay, so... Okay, they're the bear traps from the first chips challenge. Okay. All right. And let's let him go around there. And what's it going to do now? Okay, so we just have to basically wait until... Oh, that's a nice little maze setup they had there. Actually using them more than once. Once you get on a railroad track, you can only change directions at junctions. Railroad tracks can only be entered from an open end. Well, there we go. That's not too hard to... Uh, to do oh dang oh wow so I can't even so once I get going one direction okay so I gotta really okay so it's one way in one way out got it that's maybe a little tough to remember ghosts cannot go through steel walls but they can go through other kinds of walls it's just uh yes definitely remembering my Pokemon now ghosts being weak to steel type yes I think that's a thing indeed Okay, so let's avoid the ghosty ghost. Ghosts will not cross water either. Ah, they're also weak to water types. Yes, Pokemon very much coming into play here. So what is going on with this pop and roll down here? Ghosts will not cross custom walls or floors. Ghosts are terrified of interior decoration. Okay, so we got to go through here, but I don't think... Should I have collected something for them to steal? Let's... Yeah, I don't think... Okay, yeah. oh, he doesn't make that brown noise anymore. That's actually kind of nice. If you bump into walls while carrying the steel foil, it will turn them into steel walls. Use the foil to trap the ghost. Like so, you just wrap some aluminum foil around the wall, and there you go, the ghost is trapped. This episode brought to you by Reynolds Wrap. Free Spawn Con. Okay, so I've collected this. Pick up the railroad sign to cross railroad tracks. I am the conductor now. And now I'm not. I have abdicated my position. You will need these fire boots to enter the rover room. Okay, so these are... We got some little Roomba Vax here running around. The rover monsters change moods now and then. Watch them carefully. The shield will protect you from monsters. Okay, so let's, let's see how their mood changes. Oh, they move faster when they're near me, I think. Or something like that? That seems to be the case. But they don't go on to fire, so... I'm fine with that. Take my boots, take my helmet. No blades, no bows. Leave your weapons here. Purple buttons can be wired to things. This one is wired to two purple toggle doors. The purple buttons turn wires, quote, on. Uh, weird slang term that I've never seen used that way before. It turns the wires, quote, unquote, on when something holds them down. Okay, I'll remember your weird jargon game. Some purple toggle doors are open when their input is <clears throat> on. Some are closed. They change state when their input changes. So, so I step on it, but okay. All right. So easy enough to determine. So we've got like little, little logic circuit wires here. Very, okay. So we're working with uh, logic switches now. Okay, I see. Wire traps are open when their input is on. Okay. Uh, okay, so their input is on. Wires can go through steel walls, so I want to turn the inputs off so that I can safely cross through. I don't want to get clamped into the bear trap. Would not want that. Let's walk over the closed, the newly closed steel floor. Purple buttons can be wired to other things like clone machines. Okay, well, that's certainly an idea. Okay, so they want me to push this through here, I guess. All right, so I've interrupted the circuitry, but when I push this block off, does it... Oh, no, okay, so that's it. Okay, so I interrupt it once. Okay, the purple. Okay, I see, it is the clone machine. I just about stepped on the button like a giant dumb butt. Purple buttons can be wired to flame jets. Flame jets change state when their input goes from off to on, okay? So we want to turn these off, I would say. The wire tunnels, the wire tunnels under the floor here. Okay, so pop. Okay, and that's a permanent thing. I don't have to stand on a block. And it looks like there's wire going under the floor here as well. Okay, so yeah, it's connected. I see straight lines. You just got to connect the dots sometimes, which are not always visible. Very good to know. But this game is not super great about applying the lessons that 
it gives to you. Stand on the red arrow and facing the red bomb, drop the bowling ball. When you drop a bowling ball, it rolls until it hits something. Okay, so let's stand here and... Wait, what's my drop on X? Strike! Ha <laughs> ha! And that's the final six chips. There we go. And I see a ladies restroom sign down here. What's that gonna... Okay. I have the flippers. Bowling balls can pick up tools. Roll this ball over the flippers to hit the green toggle button. Oh, okay. So those are not mine to collect. So when I do this, it'll collect the flippers and that will enable the bowling ball to go over the water. Is that what I'm seeing here? It is. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. I feel like that's exactly the sort of thing I may have a hard time remembering. If a teleport exit is blocked, you're teleported to the next station. Push this block between the two red arrows to block the teleport exit. So, no way to go from here. So, it will spit me out into one that I can go through instead. There we go. You just have to go through it in the correct direction. All right. You will have to get this ball to go through the yellow teleport to destroy the bomb. If all yellow teleports are blocked in the direction you are going, you will pick up the teleport. First, move the top teleport into the bomb hallway, then move the bottom teleport in front of the ball. Okay, so I've collected a yellow teleporter. Interesting. Um, wait, did I want to do that? There we go. So, okay, I see. So I want to pick this up. Yes, okay. And then, there we go. Get that going there. N okay, and then I want to actually go into it. And then go in a way... Okay, so when your exit is blocked, you pick it up. So, if I do this like so... There we go. And then I pick it up. Drop it somewhere else where I can go through it. And there we go. That is a little complex. But I'm here for it. Okay, it's it's not that big a deal. We've learned some lessons. Now we're going to apply some knowledge, maybe. Let's see how that works out in practice. Mazes by S.A. Ehinger Berling. That seems like uh, that seems like scrambled letters somehow. But where do we want to go here? All right, so let's find our way through the maze. I assume we're going to be entering the fake wall maze here. No way to get into this one without a door. So I'm going to have to find a key first and foremost. Okay. Oh, this is... Oh, well, this is sure fun. Okay. Can I go in here? Oh, I can go in here. Hey, I don't even need a key. Is that going to... Okay, that doesn't seem to be useful to me in any way, though, to go... Okay, well, take me to another maze, why don't you? Actually, I think I can turn the sound back up now with not everything going hog wild. So let's go ahead and there we go. Sounds a little higher in my own ears now. Uh, actually, it might be a little too high. It's always a struggle with this thing. Okay. All right. I got to get around the way and find this isn't too hard a maze right here. Okay, I've got the ice boots, so now I can enter an ice maze. So, I want to go back out. Where was the entrance? It was right here. Okay. So now, okay, ooh, I could push these around even, maybe. Can I, can I push these? Maybe that's not the kind of thing I want to be thinking about right now. Okay, can't do that. And I can't do that. These corners are blocked. Ah, here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, if I don't have the ice skates, I go right off the ice into... Okay, so this is figuring out which mazes you can do first. So we might run out of time doing this level, but... Okay, so now I have a red key. That was the fire maze, I believe. So now we're heading to the Fire Nation to get all the chips from Prince Zuko. There we go. Zuko would never give up the chips, but Eero would let us have them, probably. So, chips are no longer a concern. We got all of those, and now it's just a matter of getting to the exit and finding the yellow key, which is in which maze? Okay, well, I can go in here. All I have to do is avoid the bear traps because there's no button that's going to let me out of those. I heard a pop somewhere. Has an enemy been freed? Is somebody coming to get me? 
is the Minotaur of the Labyrinth coming to get me? So the green key took me right here, correct? Alright. So let's make our way through the maze. The mazes seem to all have more or less the same shape. Okay. Get to move along this piece of land here. And the yellow maze. Okay, let's not go back through there. Oh, okay. I'm done. Very good. That wasn't too bad at all. That was a nice little level. Not too hard to feel out plenty of time to do it and an improved score on top of that look at me i am so special well confusion this may be i'm thinking this might be the last one today we'll see about it though confusion by scott feeney 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 all right okay let's push down and make sure that hey i've got a thousand bonus points right off the bat so hey oh no enemies are oh no that's a that's a changer pad so okay so what is okay so i know if i change to melinda so this is what i was saying earlier this is one thing i was saying earlier when you're melinda the yellow key is permanent and it looks like that enemy just run off and killed himself and i can't walk on dirt as melinda so i want to be chip and i want to get this so i think i may want to hang on to my yellow key oh yeah it's right there okay so pop pop there we go Actually, I may have wanted to change back to Melinda for that. I may have wasted my yellow key. I hope that's not the case. All right, let's force our way through here. Bing, bing, boom. Ah, yes. Oh, no, I've made a mistake. I've made a tactical error. I have to be Melinda to get those flippers. So let's go ahead and start over. All right, let's go ahead and push down. Get our, get our 1K flag here. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Okay. So it can turn into any number of kinds of things. It's some weird behavior coming out of the coming out of the teleporter. It can turn it in and into any manner of enemy. All right, let's go ahead and get this, and let's get this as well. And let's go ahead and be Chip and get this, and this, and this, and also this, and one of these. And now we want to be Melinda. There we go. All right, through the fire, Melinda. You can also have fire boots. Looks like you are allowed to have fire boots. Okay, and she passes through there, and she's going to be the one who wins the level. Lots of bonus points. Ahoy, my word. Yeah, I'll say that was an improvement. That was a really good one. So, uh, okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's try one more. Hopefully I don't get bit in the butt by it. Quick Chip by Nick Laria. That's going... Okay, so this is going to protect me from the enemies. I definitely want that. Okay, so how... Okay. I don't have much time to do this, so... I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, which one goes to the toggle? Okay. I want to turn this off. Okay. That gets them out of there. And then I open this toggle door... Oh, they're probably... Okay, There, I see the chip. It's inside the room. Um, but what do I want? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't have much time to do this at all. Okay. Oh, I'm protected from the thing. That's right. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh no. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I see the, I see the trouble. I need to get through. But nobody is leaving. Okay, so let me out, please. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Okay. I didn't get the chip? What? I could have sworn I collected it. There we go, but it's too late now, so. Okay. Now I've got this. Now it's not going to be a problem. Go up here. Let him out of there. Get out of my face, please. No, this isn't what I want. Okay, and then avoid hitting that. Okay, I'm just going to force my way. Okay. So I can kind of, like... You can kind of control how you get force your way through. Hey, wow, the Roomba cleared out the Roomba cleared out the square for me. <laughs> I didn't know it could do that. Well, that is Quick Chip, I guess. That's a cute little level. And uh, I think we're going to end there today. So join us next time for more lessons from the fifth of the tutorial levels, presumably, I'm assuming.